Heading back to Vancouver. Steamboat Saga. Yeah, we're in. This is. Uh, is that what it is? So, so. Hold it. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> we're in. Uh, I think we're trying to figure out where we're at. Steamboat Saga is what the sign says here, but yeah. it's. Uh, we had to pull over because this. This, this is Savannah Lake. This, this. We're heading. We're heading west right now. Heading back to Vancouver area from Kelowna, but beautiful area. Check this out, this backdrop. I feel like I'm in a movie. Sort of been saying that a lot though, but yeah, you can you can tell how things have changed from mountainous. Now we're getting into ranch land, and we're actually going to head to the desert. We talked about Ooh. that. Who would have thought I would I go to Canada to get in the desert and less snow, and I see cows still. So I guess I knew that one. Look at the check out this check out the backdrop. I feel very uh, inferior, very small. All of a sudden, it's so all of a sudden. There's hardly any snow here, though. Earlier, we were going through, coming out of Kelowna. There was, it was just caked in the trees. It looked very, very holiday-ish. It's about the middle of the trip now and we're heading back to Vancouver and it's just trying to soak it all in and I'm going from spacious mountains over and wearing boots, hiking to the ball tomorrow night. So taking it all in as much as I can. Scott thought of something else to do, another shot. Here he comes. Let's see what he has in store for us. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You know, the rock climbing or the hiking and the, the restaurants, the tomfoolery or whatever, but let's circle back around and talk just briefly on why am I here? How do, how do I, how do I, how did we get to know each other? We, we met once. Yes. We've met once. In, in Dallas. Dallas. In Dallas at, at Podcast Movie. Yeah. But we've known each other for four, five years now. Was it uh, April or May or something? Of yeah. 2014. Yeah, we joined Solo Lab. Uh, yeah, when with it first Michael started with and Michael O'Neill. And then we got to know each other a little through there. And then we went to Podcast Movement, the event, and we met in person. We, we actually knew that we were like physical. And, yeah, that's it's um, strange. But but kept in touch through, and talked a lot through Skype and Messenger. And then all of a sudden, we're, I'm in the middle of Canada on a rock. And well, we're, we we're, actually were on each other's show, too. Yes, yes. Cause, so well, then you interviewed me. I interviewed um, for Right Not after I got divorced on my like, The Life of Now podcast. That's right. And I still remember but when I look back that it was like at a point when it was really challenging for me to talk about yeah. stuff. And then even by the end of the that, interview, that was a I think tough, I warmed up a little bit more. But That was a tough interview. It was tough for me. Was, <laughs> well, yeah, that, that was um, so that was on your show like maybe a couple times. But yeah. just a lot of different interactions. So we... we We've done so much of the video and Skype and different texting and that we feel we've got to know each other pretty well. And then all of a sudden I'm here and yeah. we're doing all these different things and I'm soaking up the Canadian culture now. So. Well, that, that, a lot of things I did or I do on online is showing off. I travel a lot and I show off this beautiful province. It's perfect because it, I, you get to be, become the host a little bit I, show me around. I like so. the Crocodile Dundee of, uh, <laughs> of Canada or British Columbia. <laughs> Um, Paul Hogan. That's what. That's how he started. He was yes tour, in yes. tourism uh, for for Australia. Yes, yes. I mean, <laughs> but I just I look back and you're like, how do we get to know each other? And sometimes mm -hmm. it, we we joke about it because we were coming through the Canadian border. <laughs> how do you how do you know this guy? And he's oh, we met on the internet. But <laughs> it's true. It sounds a little weird, but but in today's society, it's almost it's still not it's really not a normal thing. It's, but it's, yet it, for us, it's normal. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, because you can kind of pinpoint with people with like interests, and mm -hmm. and then you can hang out and have a good time. But yeah, for me, when I'm looking around, this is this, there's only a couple cars coming through here, and 
it's very peaceful. It's a very peaceful spot. We uh, we very we're filling up our SD cards with with <laughs> beautiful content and great adventure and great yeah. times. And yeah. it's it's well, we still have more more adventure ahead of us. But yes, I, I'm glad that I could share this with you, and you could you could come to Canada. You've been an excellent host. Well, you've been so an far. excellent so far guest. For an American, <laughs> <laughs> and I have a do- at least a dozen, a list of about a dozen things I've been learning as an American coming into Canada, including um, different drinks, um, we're gonna, clothing, attire, different things. <laughs> when we send you home, we're going to make you an honorary Canadian, give you a little, yeah, give you a toque. There, there might be a qu- the questionnaire or some kind of survey. Yeah, and um, then we the, give you a, a good bag and send yeah. you on your way. <laughs> but no, this 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 is. This, spectacular and um, I, it's quite a it's, it's great that we're putting together this movie on on your journey and, yeah. and it's a great backdrop to tell your story I'm glad I could share it with you and show you around and we have so much more to do and well it's for me it's been like emotional to it we've been doing so many things that I haven't really reflected too much on the depth of like I think about my dad a lot, and you know, he lost your dad, and yeah. um, just about getting out and experiencing life more. Maybe in the past, of what I would have said, maybe I just you know I got stuff to do, I'm busy, and maybe I wouldn't have jumped in the opportunity when it came up to come visit. But well, this is ther- life's too short. This is therapy for me too because yeah. my planet, it, as you may know, I think we've told you, it's Canada's 150th birthday this yeah. year. So Let's my get the candles out. Yeah, my plan was before my dad got sick was I was traveling around uh, British Columbia and Canada. To, they they say that every stop has a story in yeah. Canada, and I I was gonna travel around and tell that story for Canada's 150th birthday. But then my dad got sick and and he passed away, and I had to take care of other things. But and life gets in the way, and that's a little of the storyline too. Because absolutely, yeah. we're all doing. Everyone has their stresses and their stories, and you have to figure out what what's the priority in your life, yeah. and kind of handle that, but not lose sight of the big picture. I well, guess. But now I'm I'm able to. It's at the end of Canada's birthday. We're in the wee well, few can, days left. But, 151st birthday. Yeah, right. so I'm, I'm glad I could do a little bit of what I wanted to do and, and tell your story as well, show you show you around. So. And, and we all have a story. So we'll, we'll, we all have a story. Um, that's part of it. Is everyone's story is unique, and you know, my is my story, yours is our story, but we all share a lot of common pieces of that too. That's so right. Trying to figure it all out, I think, is what's most important. Focus on that. And what and what borrowing Nike's uh, catch <laughs> yeah, catchphrase, just we, just do it. Just do it. That's very very yeah. true. Okay, Greg, I got more to show you. All right, let's do it. Okay, Greg, let's get some lunch. I want to take you and show you a little place on our route here that I think you might like. Sounds good. Okay. I want to take you to show you a little place here. Sure that we're at the Log Cabin Pub in Spencer's British, British Columbia. I'm taking Greg on a little tour and we're, we're stopping off for a, a little bite to eat and an introduction to a Canadian Caesar. I think uh, it may be called a Bloody Caesar now in, in the US, but we've been talking about the, this whole trip about having one of these so Greg it's a hangover drink but we don't have a hangover today but I thought you better try it and see what you <laughs> think so so uh, have a taste and tell me what you think is it on? yep all right here we go well she specifically said that the straw isn't long enough so. that's right we did extra really extra extra hot spicy too it's a little tight <laughs> not too bad actually I'm not a Bloody Mary fan too, and it has seems to be in the same family. We'll see. One in Rome, one in Canada. I like it. 
Tell me about the hot sauce. I've moved on already. <laughs> I move on very quickly. Tell yeah. me about what I'm drinking and what is the Caesar? You're drinking one of the best Caesars. It used to be called the Bloody Caesar, which was a takeoff on the Bloody Mary. And then some Canadian moths came up with adding clam juice. So now it's a clam, it's a clam juice with tomato juice. And in this, it has a hot sauce in it called a third degree, and it's a habanero. It's the zero out of ten of our hot sauces.